Happy birthday to you. Alright guys, so I am here to get my skincare treatment done today. It is Monday, happy Monday, and it's also President's Day, so happy President's Day and happy Black History Month. So we're back today with a new weekly vlog. So tomorrow's Dan's birthday, 2 22 she's the 30th birthday. So today I just came here to do this. I had content that I finished yesterday that I just have to edit, send to the brand, and that's basically it for this week's videos. Everything's already pre-recorded, I just have to edit stuff, which I love that now. That's about, oh, I'm probably gonna do a hair video, but I gotta check the packaging. Um, I was gonna get my braids done this Friday, but I decided to wait till next Monday to get my braids done. Monday, following Monday coming up, to get my braids done. I figure it'd be less on the weekend. Doing it on Friday, that's just not smart. So I'm gonna go like on a Monday or Tuesday to get my braids done. So we'll do that next week instead of this week. But yeah, so today I'm going in. It's 11:57. So I'm about to walk in right now because I don't want to be late because they be charging fees. And it's 10 minute late fee and I'm early. I mean it's 10 minute grace period and I'm already early. So let me hop in and I will see you guys when I get out. <laughs> All right guys. All right guys, so I am in the car right now. The treatment is over. I got Hydroderm and then I also got a chemical peel as well. You guys can see I'm super shiny. I don't know why I ain't got my glasses on. So I now have like a new and I'm gonna follow this one because I need to like really get this like side to stop the hell what it's doing so <laughs> family dollar dollar tree family dollar dollar tree family dollar dollar tree Yo, you are so fucking embarrassing, dog. So I was just reading someone's comments, so I decided to go ahead and eat now early. I'm starving. But their options here, I don't know how to measure them, so I'm just gonna get soup. So I'm gonna start off with a soup, and then probably get some chipotle as my ending meals. Or, yeah, because I don't know what they put in their stuff, and their bread, how many carbs the bread, or calories the bread has, so get a soup. Hi, can I have two, uh, what kind of soup do you have today? We have chicken orzo and it's tasty weekend. Uh, can I have two chicken orzo soup, please? Two chicken orzo, okay, anything else? That's all. Okay, of course, yeah, eight for you. Thank you. You're welcome. And this is Dutch's, guys. I don't know if you have these, but they're in Connecticut. The soup, blazing. That orzo, chicken orzo soup, blazing. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is Tuesday. Happy birthday to Dan 22222. So I'm actually ending a reel that I was doing with just a quick little get ready with me reel. And I'm about to make a quick breakfast, just like a one um, cast iron meal. I'm gonna put the eggs in there too and everything so you guys can see how that gets made. So that recipe and everything will be on what I eat in a week, but I'll show you guys what it looks like now. But I wanted to say happy birthday to Dan. She's finally joined the 30 Club, so me and all my sisters were in our 30s at this point. One of us gotta have a DMK, but happy birthday, Dan. Today's gonna be fun. We're going out to dinner. We're gonna have margaritas, because today's actually National Margarita Day. So I'm leaving around like 12. I have to go pick up some patties, then head to Connecticut. So I'll get there around two o'clock, 2.30. We're gonna head on, go get some margaritas, chill at the house for a while, and then go to dinner. So yeah, so happy Tuesday, happy Taco Tuesday, happy Margarita. Um, National Margarita Day, and most importantly, happy birthday to Dan. Thank y'all so much. Everybody did a great job today. Seriously, I appreciate it. Are we supposed to do this every night? Look, we have to stay by day. Alright guys, and that'll do it for us for breakfast this morning. We got two eggs over easy while in the obviously in the cast iron one cup of roasted potatoes with um, peppers and then one chicken sausage so there it goes very very easy all right guys so I'm going to this popular bakery called Damari's um, it's like an Italian bakery but they have the best red velvet cupcakes ever so I'm gonna go in here real quick and get Dan some cupcakes for tonight she will love it so I hopefully they have some that are ready, so I'm just gonna quickly go inside and grab.
Uh, no, thank you. Looks good. Final stop, CVS. All right, guys, we're gonna grab a card real quick. Dan probably looked under like where I was at. So let's see if we can find our card. Card. I'm gonna quickly write on this card in the car and then head back off on the highway. Let's see. Where's the 30s? There it goes. Sisters. Oh, that's so cute. I don't like that they put somebody else's face on that. I don't like that. Oh, this is cute. Tony doesn't want to be like Dan. Let's say that they're watching McCall. Huh? Oh, you want to sit on this side? Yeah. Like, why would, ooh, the seats are sticky. What? It's playing. Who's playing on us? I thought it was playing. Oh, it's actually really nice in here. Oh, there goes the flights. I Where? Fly. Where? Right there at the top of the top. Right there. Sticky. Let's <laughs> go <laughs> well, chips and guac. I need like a snack, like or something that's not crazy. Tequila fries served with um, sangrita and agave lime. Mezcal fried served with orange wedges, wedges, <laughs> and sal de gusano. Translation blurs. Chopping away. Oh, look at the little guacamole things up there. I notice that they balls. Happy birthday Wait. to. That vocals, you know <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Oh yeah, it is the thing. It's really good in here. Surprisingly, your side is bright. We out here had a margarita. Mm. Why? Cause today is what your birthday. Also, 2 22 22 and it's margarita, um, national, national Mar margarita taste. So. Yeah, <laughs> and it's happy from 3 to 6 o'clock as well. Too. It's you and you. you. Oh, weird. 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 Thank you. And I'm late every day. And I leave early every day. But you're not paying me. So what's the problem? Thank you. So yours are gonna you guys are gonna be the different way. So yours is gonna start this way from the lighter tequila to the heavier tequila, which is the better tequila on this side. And yours is gonna start on this top right here. Start right here and go all the way down right there. Okay. So your one, you're okay. supposed to start right here and then end on this one. Okay, so wait. No, 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 no. Sorry. Yours is opposite. Start right here and go up here. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>
Don't touch the plate, okay? Oh, you right. It was too easy to too. Thank you. Wish we go over a ride. Thank you. 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 So baked potato and so on. Thank you. Wow. I have a mac and cheese in there. Yes. Okay. Who's getting this? Me. Right. And you're getting mac and cheese. This is all mine. Okay. Very hot plate. Wow, that looks really good, guys. Can I get you anything else right now? We're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to My vocals are right. Happy birthday to you. guys so tonight was a success Dan got her 30 number balloons Cindy's leaving and Dan's coming in the whippings who's calling Dar what do you want come to the house Dar why'd you go home yeah come to the house babe. <laughs> Back in Pennsylvania, with eight kids home from school and fed, Kendra attempts to bond with the oldest twins. Do you play, you play sports? Soccer's so my favorite. Yeah, soccer's my favorite. I think I finally had a breakthrough with Maddie and Kara. I know that Kara likes sports, so I'm trying to relate to her in those ways. Being involved in a sport is will help, we will see. Do I don't goals. play any sports. What do you do? Hey guys, how's it going? So I did not really talk to you guys yesterday because I was actually really busy. But today it's around 4.30, 4.40. I decided to come to Trader Joe's. I'm not going to Connecticut for a while because I need to kind of stay home in quarantine before my trip just to make sure I'm safe. So I don't really plan on like leaving, going to visit people and stuff like that. So you guys ain't going to be seeing no night dinner, night outs and stuff like that. Everything's strictly going to be at the house. So I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and I got my reusable bag so I'm all set. I think I'm going to bring you guys in. Sometimes I don't because it would be chaotic in here so mm, so I don't know yet but I'm gonna go in right now I did start this here video I think I'm gonna finish when I get home because it's a basic closure work it's really not that much to say so I think I'm just gonna end the video today and then take it off because it's giving me a little bit of a headache <laughs> I think I just adjusted the straps a little too tight but whatever but um, I did post the Instagram reel up and then I do have a video going up tonight at 8:30. it's a try and out with J scope fitness so it's going up tonight uh, when I get back to the house I just need to put some information and set it so you guys have two hours to get ready for the premiere at 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time but like I said I gotta get out because I can't be out here all night. I'm trying to get home at least by 6.30, 6 o'clock so I can just relax. So, let's head inside to Trader Joe's. Alright, so if I'm back right now, that means I didn't show you guys what I got because it was a little chaotic in there. But I did find some new stuff. I was actually able to take my time in there though, even though it's chaotic. Um, but I found some desserts because I did get a message from my last one I in a week video asking about desserts and stuff like that. So I did pick out a few like desserty type items like ice cream, non-dairy ice cream. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. I'm going to try to run back to the house. I don't want anything to melt. It should stay frozen for like at least an hour. Like, not an hour, but get a little bit soft, but be able to go back in the freezer and get hard um but i want to go and get some maggi because i haven't had maggi i need a little bit of sazon as well so i think i'm gonna go do that it's still a little bit early which i could grab those things and then get back home so i could put the video up for its premiere so yeah so yeah that was quick i spent i i ended up paying 198 dollars or something like that i'll show you guys everything i got but i did get chicken and stuff and salmon i haven't had salmon well i had salmon from another recipe but i haven't cooked salmon in a while so i wanted to get salmon tonight i'm having mac and cheese and i also i'm thinking now i should probably just make a piece of salmon with the mac and cheese i was gonna make like grilled shrimp but i don't want that like i had shrimp yesterday so i'm thinking that piece of salmon that i got i'm gonna clean it and just put it under the oven um, with some blackened season on top and then just have that with the baked mac and cheese 
I do have one tray of the reduced fat uh, Trader Joe's mac and cheese and I'm gonna jazz it up by putting like you know seasoning in it and I'm gonna add extra cheese on top I did find yo I found a lot of low calorie stuff today like I found a pizza sauce that's only 30 calories for a, a quarter cup like, I can't wait to go to show you guys because it's just kind of like, wow, you really, if I, my focus now is to look at labels, just see what I'm eating, see what's in it, also see how much calories, how much fat it is, and it's just, it makes it so much eye-opening when you're, like, eating food now, like, wow, is that really what I was putting in my body? But, yeah, I got a lot of stuff that I'm excited to show you guys. Alright, guys, so I'm back home from the grocery store, so I'm going to quickly show you guys, I got a lot of new things this time. These, I think someone recommended these to me and I picked them up. They're only a dollar or something. I also could get that juice. So let me just start off, but I got some new stuff. So I got toilet paper back there. I have some sweet potato fries right here. I also got some Trader Joe's plantain chips. The plantain chips are 140 calories for 20 of them. You can dip these in guacamole, which I, oh, I got guacamole in the fridge, the uh, old one. I can dip that in the guacamole tomorrow. The sweet potato fries are 150 calories for three ounces. You guys know I measured on the scale, so that's actually pretty good for sweet potato fries. Now, I also did get my favorite chicken sausage as always. I did get some broccoli, which I'm gonna make tonight. I got these new apple cinnamon oatmeal bites. I just dropped a potato. Apple cinnamon oatmeal bites. Now, three of these are only 240 calories. So I was thinking about having three of these tomorrow with two hard-boiled eggs and some cut-up bananas. So I'm gonna try these out and let you guys know how these taste. So I'm really excited about these. You gotta put them in the freezer. I gotta put them in the freezer in a second. Um, I did get the crushed garlic um, p uh, packs. I thought these were cool. I never tried these out. So when I saw them, I was like, all right, I'm gonna get these. I did get two rustic potatoes, guys. One just fell on the floor, but I'll pick that up after. Bananas, like you saw. As far as the protein, I'm making salmon cubes tonight, and I'll show you guys how I season the salmon cubes. I also got chicken wings and chicken drumsticks. I think I might do chicken drumsticks tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not, or I might just do a pizza instead. Because I did find, um, you guys know I went to Aldi's and got that Aldi's flatbread, right? So when I went to Trader Joe's today, they had this pizza crust, which is basically kind of like the non bread. Um, so this one has a little bit more of a calorie uh, range, which I like. So it comes with two of them in here. It says a, a quarter crust is 140 calories. So half of this is 280 calories. So if you want to just do half of the crust, and you guys can see it's pretty wide. So half of it would be 280 calories in the topping. So I think tomorrow I'm going to do this. I did show you guys this in one of the vlogs, but it wasn't in the what I eat in a week. So I think that's going to be for dinner tomorrow night so I can show you guys how to make a low calorie pizza. Um, what else? And I also got pizza sauce. So this pizza sauce right here is from Trader Joe's fat free pizza sauce. Focus. 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 Okay. So this one is 30 calories. And this one honestly is keto as well. Oh, so keto is a little bit high on this one. It's six grams, but 30 calories for a quarter cup of sauce. I've never seen 30 calories for sauce before in my life. And this is specific piece to sauce and it's fat free. So we are winning with this one. Um, like I said, I did get these drinks. Someone did recommend these drinks to me. I found them today. So it comes with apple cider vinegar beverage, ginger and lemon, and they also have the lemon and strawberry. So I'm excited. These are like a dollar something, like a dollar something. So I got four of them. I also got the suja celery juice, and I also got my favorite lemon cayenne. They only had one of the lemon cayenne, um, so lemon ginger cayenne. So I picked up the celery. I'm gonna have the celery one. These are low calories as well too. They're only 45 calories for the whole entire thing. And this this one for the entire can is 35, which, wow, amazing. I also did get some tangerine juice if I'm interested in it. This one is 110 calories for eight fluid ounces, which is not bad. My boyfriend actually likes this as well, so I picked it up just if I want to have it. I can have it tomorrow with um, apple, cinnamon, oatmeal bites, and eggs. I did get the low calorie lemonade, so I got it not only in the regular traditional lemonade, I also got it in the pink lemonade flavor because I want to try that one out. So obviously I got the terrible looking one, but you guys already know I love this one. Very tardy. I think I'm going to start making cocktails on Instagram and TikTok. So I'll show you guys like low calorie cocktails to make because this would definitely be good with that skinny margarita one shot of like Casamiga or something, but that's for another day. But this really, really good. I also got two of my ginger shots. Um, I had the zinc one yesterday and I love the ginger shots, especially for just, you guys just know, for your immunity. I also got myself, I went to the store and got myself some Maggi, so I'm gonna show you guys a few things. I got, I got the Maggi pour out. I also got some Goya Sazon. I also got, what else I get from the grocery store? I also got some light mayo. The light mayo is 
35 calories for one tablespoon. I think this is pretty much the standard. It'll say two tablespoons on the low fat one for 70, so this is basically the same thing. So light mayo. And then I found this jalapeno ranch sauce. So this one, focus. So this one is one tablespoon for 40 calories. I think it'll be nice if it's drizzle on top. I might just do like a little swiggle on my pizza tomorrow. So I wanted to try this out. If anyone has tried this, let me know. But I thought it was cute because it has a squeezable top. And you literally could just sprinkle it on your food. So I thought that was dope. So those are the four things I got from the grocery store. Back to Trader Joe's. I did go ahead and pick up some onion salt. Uh, which I primarily would use all the time. The salt content in here ain't nothing, guys. Trust me. Um, I also got the everything but the bagel seasoning because I haven't had this in a while. I also got myself some pink salt in the grinder. And I also got myself some black pepper. And lastly, oh no, not even lastly. Two last things. I got one green pepper because I have an onion already. And I also did get the tomato paste. The tomato paste, is this one is 30 calories for two tablespoons actually, which is pretty good. So if you want to do a pasta, it's easier to do it with the tomato paste and create your own and just buff it up. So that's what I usually like to do. So I get tomato paste to do that. Oh, and I have one more thing to show you guys. All right, I lied. I had two more things to show you guys. So I did get the Trader Joe's Light Shredded Cheese Blend. So this is all the blends, light. So you already know the calorie intake on this one's probably going to be low. So one ounce of this, a quarter cup, is only 80 calories, which is perfect. It's a perfect amount for the pizza. When I do the pizza, you guys kind of see how it all get jazzed up tomorrow. So that'll be dinner tomorrow. I'm going to make a nice pizza. Um, what else did I get? Oh. Here it goes. I think these are new. I was talking to the girl to register and I think she said these are new. So they had the oat non-dairy frozen dessert sandwiches or ice cream sandwiches. I've been talking about this shit for fucking weeks. I've been craving an ice cream sandwich. So this one is six sandwiches in the box. So the calories for this one is two sandwiches is 330 calories well, per serving, three servings per container. So two, two and two. Okay. So the whole box would be 990 calories, which is absurd. Who's going to do that? So um, two sandwiches is 330 calories. Split that down the middle and you could do the math. So um, I think I'm going to have one. I want to try it out. It's non-dairy. So let's see. You guys know I like, I actually like oatmeal a lot. And I like cashew milk, so I'm actually excited that they didn't do this with almond milk. But since you guys are asking me about treats, here goes a treat that I picked up today. Test this one out. And I also consider this like a sweet tooth thing as well, too. So I got this one, too. So these are a little bit of um, options. Uh, this one does have more calories, but I would use this more so for breakfast sim simply because it is like oatmeal and all that kind of stuff. You could actually use a banana with it, have a nice sliced up banana and two hard boiled eggs, and it'll just be bomb. And it has a good amount of protein, five grams. So these are options. I'm going to let you guys know what this is hitting like, but I was super excited when I saw this thing. Looks bad. Good day, good day, good day, good day. It is Saturday. Um, it is like the afternoon right now. So you guys know the vlog continues. It's like 4.50, so I decided to go out shopping now. I literally was chilling the entire freaking day just hanging out. But I was like, you know, let's make it a little shopping evening. So I'm going to Target. Dan told me once again, the swimsuits are back on sale so i'm gonna attempt one more time and i also have to go ahead and get this thing taken off i'm going to another target but i have the receipt so it doesn't really matter what target i go to i just need them to take the alarm off of it and that's that there's gonna be no chit chat none of that receipt and item in hand take that damn sensor off so that's what we're about to do i also want to say thank you to everyone all the love on the vlog i know it was a bit of a rant and stuff like that but sometimes you gotta have those types of moments you know what i'm saying last that last week it was just one of those weeks but i ha i definitely had an amazing valentine's day but you know there's always hiccups along the way and honestly and truly it's just showcasing real life shit so Happy to the ones that left comments and stuff like that. And if a lot of, you know, a few, I saw a few men feeling um, upset, but if it doesn't pertain to you, why does it matter? Like, I wasn't talking about all men. Like, I'm dating a dude, like a black man, like chill. I'm just talking about for the dusties out there. There's a few dusties out there that just don't know how to respect people. So you gotta call them them dudes out and that's what i did so hey um but yes yeah, good saturday obviously you guys know i'm driving which is unsafe af but when i get to target and i'm gonna go to all these as well i'm gonna open up the camera and take you guys along so let me safely get there i'm going to the one on harlan in harlem river drive because they got a costco's they also have um Aldi's, I think there's a TJ Maxx. I never go into those stores. I just stick to Aldi's and Target because that's all you really need. So, Lego. So, the swimsuits are on sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. But I told you, these are way too small. Um, 
but the short ones are on sale too. These. And then this brand right here is on sale as well for the buy one, get one 50% off. So let's see what I can find back here. They got some cute ones. This one is actually really cute. It has that little webbing area in it. $30. And the bottoms are like a regular bottom. So let's see. I like the color. It's pretty. These are really nice bottoms too. And they got this little zebra print one with the crinkle bottoms. Oh, the crinkle bottoms got the little booty part in the back. These are actually really cute. Look at that in the back. So this is a good one as well too. And then I love this green one right here. This green one, the high-waisted bottoms. Look at that. That is so nice. And the top is to die for. Look at that top. Oh, this is cute. And the dresses are still here, guys. We got a whole bunch of sizes too. But I do like this right here. So these little white tube tops and black tube tops are five dollars. Five dollars. This one is perfect. Like, y'all see the bath? This is, this is giving. It shows my scar. All you gotta do is just arrange this. All right, guys, they got these bagel skinnies here. They're only 110 calories. So I'm gonna look for some cream cheese. They also have it in this. Oh, they got the sandwich ones too. Sorry for my little ink crashy thing. So they have the sandwich ones for 100. So I think I'm gonna get both of them. Oh shit. Hey guys, I found these little dry seasoning packs. The ranch one and the Thai one. They're only five calories for a half a table, teaspoon. I'm like, what the fuck, that's it? Oh girl, put this back. It's not even worth it. Okay, so this is what they got. Let me see how many calories this one is. Right now. I know. Well, you know, let me stop saying that. I think this is pretty decent for two tablespoons, 70 calories. Can you see that? So I guess I can get this, it's decent. All right guys, so here goes the pizza. Looks really good. This is half of the crust. And I do have my roasted Brussels sprouts at the bottom, which I already had one. They taste blazing. Um, so this is that. And I also did go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit of the jalapeno ranch sauce on my pizza. If I just sat them, I already tried it, but oh, maybe like one slice. So I'm going to have this as well, too, on it. And that's that. Even though I did put onions and peppers, that's a veggie. I still wanted to have another veggie on the side. So roasted Brussels sprouts does the job for me so this is the meal and this crust is very low carb like low calorie is low carb so if you're looking for a low car calorie crust this one at trader joe's is pretty solid so i'll let you guys know how everything tastes but this is it so i did get the skin bagel skinnies they're only 110 calories and then i also got the sandwich skinny because i'm like you know why not have a sandwich on here that is only 100 100 calories you know same thing 
So I also did get some lettuce, sorry for my dirty countertop. And then I also got the whipped cream cheese spread. So this one is two tablespoons for 70 calories. So what I like to do is have a bagel with cream cheese and bacon on top. So I might do that. And then I'll do like two hard boiled eggs on the side. So I don't know, I'll probably do that um, next week. It's actually really, really good guys. And I got the everything bagel season. So I'll put like, I'll do the bagels cream cheese, everything bagel seasoning with turkey bacon, crispy, and two hard boiled eggs. Fuck it up. And then for this one, it just looks like a good size for like turkey burgers, salmon burgers, whatever burgers um, for the week. So I gotta have my, I gotta have my little breads, but I find them to be, I find breads at all these that were low calorie, low carb. I believe these are, yeah, these are always low carb. Look at that, 23, not even, minus the four. So they're pretty much low carb as well too. Sorry for my ashy fingers. <laughs> Yeah, low carb. You see that? So, I always get the things that are either lower carb and lower calories. So, I added these. I probably just start eating these. I'm gonna see how they are. They not. They don't be that thick. Look how thin that is. They don't be like really that thick. But the lettuce, I'm gonna buff everything up and I'm gonna be good. So that's what I want to show you. All right, so I'm absolutely out here looking crusty and stuff like that. But I'm about to do my skincare routine, my AM routine. I'm gonna show you guys the products that I got um, after my chemical peel this week. So my chemical peel wasn't bad. I shed a little bit, it was nothing too crazy. So um, I have one breakout right here because of my mentees. But other than that, everything is pretty flat and dark because you know dark spots after acne. Acne, so. It is what it is. So I did pick up new products. I got six new products this time. These are basically gonna just target getting the dark spots removed and controlling some of the acne. My problem area is just this cheek. This is the cheek that has a repetitive issue. I do sleep on this side, but I try not to sleep on this side all the time. But this side is just get act one touch of it, whatever it is, it gets activated and it goes berserk. So this is that side on me. So um I mean, I'm not too mad about it because other than that, like, I think my skin is pretty decent. Um, yeah, so we're going to do a little skincare routine. And this is the first time that you guys are actually seeing the bathroom. You guys have never really ever seen, like, anything finished in this place because I'm going to be honest with you guys. Surprise. We're moving. <laughs> yeah, we are. I'm not. This, this whole entire place hasn't just been my vibe. Like, it hasn't been my, like, vibe or anything like that. Honestly, she has been management stuff like that, so um, we out. <laughs> we ain't stay here no more, okay? So I'm gonna give you guys a heads up now. So it's um, right now, while you guys are watching this video, it's probably March. So I have like two more months here and I am gone. Um, and I'm happy about it. So I don't know if I'm gonna go through doing all that kind of like apartment tour anything. That's just kind of like, oh, I really, I wanna do that. It's really, it's really intrusive. And it's just really annoying going out there to the places with your camera, just, ugh. Oh. But um, if I do decide to do that, I'm not going to make a separate video. It's just going to be part of the vlog. So it'll be part of the vlogs in April. So any vlog that comes in April, you guys will see what's happening. As far as the decor, you guys saw the living room. I started the office but didn't finish the office because I was just kind of like, ah, no. I'm leaving anyways. Um, 12 months really goes by very fast, by the way. If you guys don't think about that, shit goes by very fast. Um, so I kind of started it, didn't finish it, but I'm okay with that. Um, the bedroom was pretty much done, so everything will be coming. I think we think we're gonna purchase a new bed and a new TV, and that's it. Everything else is gonna stay the same. I'm happy I, I didn't do the furnished apartment tour because y'all gonna see the same shit. So now you guys will see the same shit in a different place. So I know some is like, why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep doing that? Why don't you just buy a honestly and truly it's not really like something I want to do. I like to be I like to be a city girl. <laughs> No, I like it. I don't have kids or anything like that. So I just figured just like renting and living in the city, living in a place I never thought I would live. So happy to have been here for at least four years now, which is amazing. So, um, yeah, but for now, I like it in the city. I like being a city girl. So, um, yeah, so we are out. <laughs> Come April, y'all gonna see a whole bunch of videos. But other than that, there's really not gonna be like no major decor change or anything like that. And it's just going to be making this decor fit in the new place, which I feel like I won't really have an issue. And anyways, this place is way too fucking big. Honestly and truly, I'm someone that really likes, don't like to clean. I mean, no, take that back. I love cleaning, but I realize a bigger space causes you to have to clean even more. 
And at one point I was like, I'm gonna just hire somebody to come here and do and do a little cleanup for me every two weeks. But like, I don't really want to do that and spend that money when I could just find a place that's a reasonable size where we can clean it without it becoming clutter after like three days. Y'all feel me? But hey. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna be yeah, like me, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else like me. If I don't like something, I'm not staying. I'll just figure it out. Like I'll move somewhere else. Like that's just my personality. If the vibe is not there, then I'm out. <laughs> Period. I don't care. At all costs. I'm out. So, let me get into this. Let me give it a seat. I just surprised you guys, right? I was I was gonna tell them, but I'm like, do I need to tell them? Should I? That may be kind of awkward if come May, like, I'm just popping up with, like, these tours and stuff. Like, I'm like, bitch, what? So, yeah. We out. So, the first thing I'm using is the blemish control bar. This, all the stuff is PCA skin, guys, so... That's what we're using. So I'm using the blemish control bar. Uh, she's also uh, making me use a toner as well. And then for the coloring problems I have, I have a pigment gel, which is HQ free. The pigment gel is supposed to help the dark spot on my cheek and stuff like that. And then also I'm gonna use the vitamin B3 brightening serum as well too. So the brightening serum and the pigment gel should be the ones that'll help the coloring, help the discoloration. And then the nutrient toner just kind of evens everything out. My face looks very, very textured, especially after a chemical peel. And like the, like, I'm at the, like, the ending, sta the ending stage of the peel, like under my chin is starting to peel a little bit in my forehead. So it's a little bit like gritty a little bit. So this stuff will kind of help even everything out. I also have a nighttime routine as well, guys. So for the nighttime routine, I do have the retinol solution, which is a retinol treatment for skin care, for sensitive skin. So I'm going to use this one at night. The other ones I use in the morning and night as well too. And then just for regular moisturizer, I have the clear skin, lightweight moisturizer for normal to oily skin. So this one I would use in the night. Now I have my La Roche-Posay um, uh, SPF. Now I'm going to use that in the morning because that one is pretty good. It's SPF 30. It's a double prepare face moisturizer from La Roche-Posay. So I'm still going to use that as my moisturizer. I love that one anyways. And this one is actually a pretty good size. It's only how many ounces is this? This is 2.5 ounces so I can take this on my trip with me. And these sizes are actually pretty small sizes as well. So one fluid ounce. Um... 4.4, so I won't be able to take the nutrient toner with me on the trip. I, am I doing a check bag? I think I'm doing a check bag next week. I'm not sure. Um, and I also, yeah, 1.1. 1 .1, uh, but I won't need to bring the clear skin one because I'm going to bring the La Roche-Posay Double Wear uh, Moisturizer with SPF for the trip. And the blemish control bar is 3.2 ounces. So I think I could take these with me um, on the trip except the toner. So yeah so that's the new skincare routine i do it a.m and p.m i'm gonna do it today for the first day with you guys which is yeah today yeah why am i saying it i had to let my face peel a little bit before i did this stuff because one thing i realized is that when your face is freshly peeling or if it's still in the process of peeling when you start putting like active products on your skin that shit be tingling like crazy burning like crazy so i let the chemical peel come off completely before i start anything because if you try to put any of that anything with like chemicals in it like percentage chemicals or anything like that it's gonna burn so um yeah so what am i not using because i just took all this shit out and realized okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start the routine guys just wanted to do a little chat with you guys i'll show you guys the target stuff a little bit later it wasn't even that much of so the swimsuit and the two tops i'll show that to you guys in a few and yeah well probably after this just to get it out the way right i'll show it to you guys soon but um yeah, so that is basically it for my new skincare routine. So I didn't really get anything spectacular this week at Target. All right, so when I went to Target, I only got two items, three items, I'm sorry. So I did get these tube tops, guys. They were only $5. I'm just going to put this out here right now. Go ahead and cop these. $5, I got mine in a size medium. They fit so nice. Dan actually saw it at her Target and fumbled the bag and didn't get them. So she's actually going to go back and grab these. Very nice and basic, guys. Black and white. And then I got this swimsuit that you guys saw me try on. I absolutely love this one. The sides are out. The back cut is just 
everything. The swimsuit was actually $36, which is a little bit on the pricier side. But they have a sale going on right now, which is buy one, get one 50% off. So you're able to find pretty good deals. So those are the only three items that I got. I needed these tube tops for my trip coming up next week. So um, they're only $5, like I said. And Wild Fable always has the deal. So I definitely recommend you copying that. And the swimsuit is, what brand is the swimsuit? The swimsuit is the Shade Shore uh, brand. This is the brand I'm telling you that's more of the woman brand. But they definitely have more trendy styles and more up-to-date looks. So, yeah. So, that basically wraps up today's video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Did I say like, comment, share, and subscribe? Yeah, like, com like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, I have a surprise for you guys this week with uploads. So, hopefully you enjoyed this one and another special one this week. So, 